Welcome back. In this episode, I would like us to uh, give functionality to this button. But obviously, there is something that we require up here in our table. So we will do a little bit of modification in the uh, create customers um, page. So let's go right into it. So I want to go to LiveWire customers .bled. And here we need one more table head. So I'll just copy this one once. Paste it here. Let's call it action. Like that. I also want to just put a button here. I do not know how it's going to display, but let me have a button here. In this case, uh, we will call it create. Let me give it a class of uh, BTN. Sorry, class BTN BTN maybe success. And then maybe btn small like that so let me go ahead and check how our form looks like i mean how our table looks like mm, we have a problem so it says it supposed supports one html element per component so probably to just be able to do that because now we have a button and the table to be able to cure that problem maybe we can just have a div here to make all of it just a single thing so let me just have a closing of a div like that i think now when we check now it will work you can see we have a nice button there and then uh, i want to give functionality to view and also create so on this button that we have here we are going to uh, use navigation so first of all we have to say where the button is going to so we can have the href tag and uh, when we click create it is going to go to customers forward slash create when we have it like that if we attempt to refresh and use that button as you can see we will be having a sort of like in fact it's not even working yes uh, I need to because it's supposed to be an anchor tag so maybe I can ch change it to anchor tag, but let me just go ahead and just use live wire navigation. So I'm going to say wire navigate and that will be able to do the trick for us. So when I refresh again, now when we click create, now you can see there is a loader. Uh, so let me just do it again. When you click create, there is something that is let me just uh let me just uh try again so when you click you can see on this end there is something that is load a spinner and then also up here we have sort of the bluish loading like that so it's very nice it displays similar to the way um live i mean uh view inertia will be able to work or maybe svelte and so on and so forth so i think we are able to go to create customer maybe in our create customer button maybe we can have another button that you take us back so let me go to create customer dot and then i will have another button here button Sorry, button. And 
and here we can just have it taking us back and of course we can have wire navigate which uh, sort of uh, is um, that which enables smooth navigations with the SPF like fill in a live wire and so we can say we are going back to customers like that so once we save we can give this button a class so class let's have btn btn uh, secondary btn small like that and even this one also we can do the same btn sm to just make the button a little bit slightly smaller now we have a submit button and a back button so when we click on it it takes us back here when we click create it takes us to this and i think that one is very nice and then now i would like us to uh, make this button actionable so what we are going to do we are going to go to customers.plate and then of course the button that we have is a button that is called view so here again we are going to use wire navigate and then i'm also going to have the href in this case our href is going to take us to customers and then we are going to have the customer id so customer id like that so we are going to save that and we also have the closing tag so obviously there is no route of this kind because we have not been able to create it and so when i refresh we are having an issue yes is is a problem because it's supposed to be a variable and i have just put it like that so now i think it will work when you refresh now we click on view it's going to give us 404 i think 404 not found because now we are not able to find that um, route because it's not created so let's go ahead and um, be able to create that route so i'm going to have a route route get in this case we are going to have uh, customers and then we are going to use route model binding to pass in an instance of customer like that and then of course we have not been able to create a, a class and component but uh, i'm going to create it now i will just call it view customer course you can also call it show customer like that depending with what you want you can decide what you would call it but in this case for purposes of this tutorial we will do it like that and then of course how you have to import it here even though i haven't created it yet but uh, we have called it uh, view is it view customer like that so now i have to go ahead and create a new component sort of so we are going to to run the command php artisan make full colon live wire and then we are going to call it view customer like that and once we hit enter it's uh, 
going to give us problems because we actually already have declared it here and we do not yet have it so let me just comment this too like that i will comment them afterwards so again let us try and create them now the, they have been created successfully so you can go ahead and and comment what we have here and then i will also uncomment this one because now they're in existence so when we now click on that route obviously there is nothing much that we have done but we have everything that uh, is required for it to take us somewhere you can see it's taking us to an empty page so even if i click on this second customer view again you have customer number two but then it's showing nothing so i want us to uh, be able to do something on our um, on our um, class on our view customer class here we will be just returning a single customer so what we are going to do we have to of course import the customer model so use app models customer like that and then obviously we now can be able to declare a prop so in this case we can uh, say public customer and in this case we can set it to an empty array because you have several values the name the email and the other things then of course i also will be able to have the mount so public function mount and uh, inside here i want to pass an instance of customer so we can say customer customer like that and then so we will be fetching a customer and in this case depending on the id of this customer that is passed here or in other words the customer uh, root model binding injection then now we are going to have this customer and of course we are referring to what we are having here then we are going to set it to the instance of customer just like that and i think this is all we need to do for us to be able to load a customer onto our view and then now we will go to our view customer.blet now inside here i would like us to just have a bootstrap card So we are going to have a bootstrap card and let me just copy one here. It's no need for us to reinvent the wheel. It's already created for us. I can scroll towards the end. I actually pick some card here. Probably I can pick which one I can pick. Where is the card that I usually use? No. Let me just scroll upwards. Yes, this one here. We can pick this. I'm going to copy and paste inside our view customer. So I'll remove everything and then we have it like that. Now um, I'm going to change this to view customer and of course my display will not be that fancy but um, inside this customer i mean uh, the card title i am going to just uh, have 
the name of the customer so you're going to just have customer name and then of course here we can have the email where we're having this text you can have customer variable customer email maybe i can copy this one more time and then we display the customer phone so this one will be phone and then of course we can have this as a button and it can take us back So you can have it as an anchor tag and I think that one is okay. And we can say this one is taking us to customers. And whether it's an anchor tag or a button, when we use wire navigate, to just give it that nice feeling of uh, refreshing. So I believe if everything works, then that will be the end of uh, our tutorial. Now we're having our customer even though the card is a little bit big i just want to just give it an offset of three and um call column six that you make our card a little bit small i think that is good enough so when we click back it takes us back here so we can click view to view our first customer and click back take us back to this uh, page here thank you very much for following this tutorial up until this point i ask that if you have not subscribed you uh, go ahead and subscribe and if you have not been able to um, if you have been able to like the video you can go ahead and give it a thumbs up and you can also share it so uh, we meet in the next tutorial video thank you very much